Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is November 17, 2017. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Looking at this market, we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading down a point and a half to 25.83 and a half per contract. All in all, the futures were positive just a few minutes, uh, I'd say 30 minutes ago, but not by much, just by a quarter point or so. So it's been a flat, flat market ahead of the opening bell today, but we'll see what we get. Now, yesterday, the markets had a huge rally and it finished pretty strong. We'll see how this plays out. Today is Options Expiration Friday. A lot of the games have been played. We've heard lots of rumors this week, lots of stock movers, and we'll see what today brings. But we have lots of earnings out here as well, and let's get right into those charts. First one I'm going to talk about is Applied Materials. AMAT is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $59.80. This is up from the $57.84 close. So again, uh, AMAT showing good strength here ahead of the opening bell. The only problem I see with the stock is that it's very overbought and it's long in the tooth. So again, if you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, just leave it alone at the moment. I wouldn't be jumping on board AMAT at this stage of the game. But nonetheless, it is trading up a little bit. Uh, it is a little bit long in the tooth, a little bit uh, overbought, but Again, it's holding up well and the trend is up. So we don't want to fight it, but um, I wouldn't be jumping in right here if uh, if you're looking to get in. Uh, wait for a pullback. This is not really the time. So we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. Let's take a look at Gap stores. I should have Gap resistance levels for Gap. Gap is gapping up this morning. Right now, the stock is trading at $29.42, closed at $27.48 yesterday. So nice little pop there. I'm going to have some gap levels posted up in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 a.m. Next up, we're going to take a look at Raw Stores. R-O-S-T is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $71.21. This closed at $65.69. So this is a great pop here. New high, all-time high for Raw Stores. Again, a little bit overbought, I have to say, but um, nonetheless, trend is up stock is up don't chase it up here at these levels let it level off we'll look at it uh, once the opening bell rings we'll see what kind of pattern we could get there generally when ross is higher tj max or tjx will usually be higher and that is the case today that closed at 6906 now trading at $70.19, so that is trading higher in sympathy. Let's take a look at Williams Sonoma. WSM is ticker symbol here. Stock is getting hit a little bit. Closed at $52.87. It's now trading at $47, so good little sell-off there. Now, keep this level on the radar today. $43.50, $43.70 for Williams Sonoma. If it gets down there, looks like you have a lot of support. That's a big, big double bottom going all the way back to... I believe, uh, August of 2017. So uh, a few months ago, that was a big, big low there. Let's take a look at Abercrombie & Fitch. ANF is a ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at 1520 Closed at $12.55. So great pop there. This is a little bit overbought for my liking. We'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Let's go over to Splunk, SPLK. Uh, the stock right now is trading at $79. Closed at $69.30. So this is a great great, great pop for Splunk. Uh, this is a stock right now that um, should have a lot of resistance around the 82 and a half level if it gets up there. Again, we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. I'm not so sure I want to get in front of it on the short side just yet. We'll look at it at that point in time. Let's take a look at 21st Century Fox, ticker symbol Fox A. Stock right now is trading at $31.50, closed at $29.32. So again, good pop here for 21st Century Fox. There is chatter now that Comcast, CMCSA, uh, is looking to get involved and uh, buy Comcast now. So originally it was Disney, now it's Comcast. We'll see who else comes into the bidding. Again, media stocks now are starting to heat up, and we'll see how that plays out. Let's take a look at Foot Locker. Foot Locker has been a beaten down retailer, but not today. Stock is gapping up strong. Right now, Foot Locker is trading at $39.75. That's a great pop there. Again, this has a lot of shorts in it, so there is a potential short squeeze on this thing right here. So I would think $43 would be um, the first pretty good resistance level, $43 area. Then we'll see where it could go from there. But Foot Locker on the move today. Let's take a look at Shoe Carnival. SCVL is the ticker symbol here. Stock right now is trading at $24.70. It closed yesterday 
at $20.63. So great pop there for Shoe Carnival. This is overbought. I might have gap levels for this one. So again, I probably do. So uh, again, uh, we'll have some gaps, uh, some gap plays for gap stores. Also for Shoe Carnival, they'll be posted up before the opening bell. Let's take a look at Charles Schwab today. Uh, ticker symbol is SC. Uh, HW, and what you're going to see here is that uh, the stock right now not doing anything, trading at 44.64. But there's some big insider buying. It looks like the chairman sold 16 million dollars worth of stock. So again, um, Charles Schwab seeing some insiders selling here. We'll see how it plays out. The pattern on the charts are fine. I don't really see anything negative there. All right, let's switch gears here a little bit. We're going to go over to the gold market. Gold is catching a bit today. Gold is up $4.20 at $1,282.40 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, which is a good way to track and trade gold, this is trading at um, 121.76 at the moment. So all in all, um, gold is trading up a bit this morning. Let's go over to crude oil. Crude oil higher by 85 cents today. Make that 87 cents to $56.22. A barrel good pop here for crude oil uso is also catching a nice bid this closed at 1107 now trading at 1123 so oil is up today gold is up a bit today as well stocks are down a little bit futures right now down by about three points once again if you haven't done so come on over take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room we've had a great 2017 we're going to look to keep that going and again should be a very very good trading day we have lots of movers out here this morning with that being said i'm going to leave it here short and sweet i want to wish you all a great session and we will see you on the charts